This is a short video guide for the recognition of Suga heterophylla. The bark is typically grey, lightly fissured, with slight light brown to maroon undertones. Noticeable in the form of Suga heterophylla is the very drooping lateral branches. It takes on a, a rather broad conical shape uh, when young, but it's very noticeable are the weeping side branches. And these pendulous branches persist and develop as the tree matures, still generally with one central main stem and reaching heights over 30 metres, um, but quite noticeably drooping with quite attractive curtains of foliage. The male pollen cones are on noticeable stalks and born in large numbers potentially, uh, with often slight pink coloration to them. And here we can see a close up of an open male pollen cone with its light green stalk. The female cone flowers are two toned, both maroon and a, a pale grey, and very attractive if very small, smaller than the size of your, the fingernail of your little finger. And here, a close up of the female cone. I've really quite enjoyed capturing images of conifer flowers, and this one is a particular favourite of mine, very attractive. And then the female flowers develop uh, from green to brown in one year, uh, these egg-shaped or uh, elliptic uh, round scaled cones, often in quite large numbers, hanging down on the pendulous sprays. Here we can see the sort of uh, curtain-like effect I was describing, uh, close up to the spray. And this curtain-like appearance is uh, produced by the way that Generally, the uh, shoot will be relatively elongate, with, uh, with uh, only minor laterals coming off at an angle where they also point downwards. The underside of the spray is startlingly bright because of the two very strong white bands that lies on the underneath of each needle, and so you really do get a very strong flash of sort of silver white on the underneath of Suga heterophylla. This close-up illustrates the pulverness which is actually a very short, light brown attachment to normally a very pubescent twig. And here you can see the under, underneath of these needles with the two very wide stomatal bands giving it that silver appearance underneath. And here we can see the winter bud, grey, slightly pubescent and closed in on typically four to five sides by long pale brown uh, bud scales.